up the professional ladder, being able to recognize pitches becomes more and more important to your success as a hitter. And who's better qualified to talk about that than Sean Casey, career 302 hitter at the major league level, MLB network analyst. Case, thank you so much for joining us on this. How do hitters work on pitch recognition at the minor and major league levels? How do you develop that skill? Well, I think it is a skill. And I think that's the big part of it, Ben, is, is that you really have to learn to see the baseball. You really have to learn to slow things down. I know for me, as I moved up, guys got tougher with the ball moving in the zone late. Cutters, changes, faded more. Two seamers ran more. So for me, it was really about seeing the ball early in the release point and then also seeing it late. Those last five feet are crucial for a hitter and to be able to, to recognize the pitch. So see it early, see it late, and be ready to hammer it. Were there any pitchers or pitches that you had a very particularly difficult time handling? Yeah, you know what? The, the tough pitches I had were sometimes I was a lefty hitter, so lefty on lefty. When I had that good lefty that could, that could crisscross the plate, he would throw me a two-seamer in, right, and kind of lock me up, and it would open up the outer half of the plate, so then he would throw me that slider. So any, any lefty that had a good sinker and a good slider, they gave Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Fourth of July baseball coming at you. It's the Redding Fighting Phils and the Richmond Flying Squirrels. Just about ready to roll on the hill here today, Seth Corey. Yeah, he battled through seven innings last time out. He pitched well enough to get the win thanks to that offense. He'll look to turn in another quality start in this one. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Austin Brock. The first baseman, Austin Brock. Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Gone. That was a moonshot. And it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1-0. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spot. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. So two down now, and here is Austin Brock. The first baseman. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely, you feel so much more comfortable. Oh, now this one's high and deep, way back there, on its way, gone! He'll circle the bases, his latest homer in an incredible season. And they tack on to their lead, it's 3-1. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Austin Brock will hit next. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And it goes just foul. Swing and a line drive caught. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And welcome back. Here's some real power at the plate. Austin Brock. For the flying squirrel. The first baseman. Austin Brock. And he deals. That's a laser base hit. Now batting. So up next, Jalen Davis. 
Nobody out. Runner at first. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one away. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten. Didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Swings and misses. And there's two down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's a one-two. And that's a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on... Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And the inning is over. And now the first baseman, Austin Brock. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone. Stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. Line drive. And that's going to be a double, and it'll score two. One runs in. The second run scores. Around third. The relay. Safe. And now they trail by one. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his back through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Now it's the right fielder, Jalen Davis. Now batting, right fielder, Jalen Davis. In the air, left field, number 35. In position, he's got it, and there's two away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. 0-2 oh, now, and down on strikes he goes, and that ends the ball game. The tying run left stranded at second, and a final. Eight to seven for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. Here's a big power threat. Austin Brock. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And first offering is fouled off. Glowenki, the base runner at first with one out. Now a rocket to right center. Way back there. And forget it. It's out of here. He circles the bases. His latest homer in an incredible season. It's 2-0. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make And here is Austin Brock. He's already homered in this game. Number 23, Austin Brock. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. And that one hops the wall. Throw to second, not in time, he's there easily. That ball was absolutely ripped, 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. And it's ball four, he missed down low. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. To short, could be two. Slings to second, to first, save. It's a fielder's choice and an RBI. Down the third baseman, Jake Vossler.
Left hand batter waits. That's a base hit, run scores. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Welcome back. Stepping in the long ball threat, Austin Brock. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. The 1 Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. That'll fire up the dugout, and they add to the lead. It's 10-4. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Austin Brock now at the plate. This guy has turned the into a beast. The first baseman, Austin Brock. That's ripped. Base hit. And it bangs up against the wall. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. Magic with a relay throw. In there. He scores. And the lead is up to five. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. So two down, and now the right fielder, Jalen Davis. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Good job at damage control right So digging in, Wendell Riho. Now that the second base, Wendell. One down, base is empty. On the ground at first. And he takes it himself for the out. First and second, two down. Aldrum Corridor getting ready to hit. 2-2 two -two now. On the ground, right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Ortiz headed for the plate. Throw home, he beats it. It's 13 to 10. Well done, drives in. Now here is Austin Brock. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man, of course he can. Those two he hit were legit, and he looks pretty locked in right now at the dig. Smoked on the ground a second. They get the force, that ends the frame. Just an absolute slugfest. Not a good day to be a pitcher. There are going to be a lot of sore necks. Guys turning left, turning right. Balls flying all over. Neither staff had anything working. And these offenses just kept exchanging blows. The 13-11 final score here today. Wendell Riho, the next to hit. No outs. Runner on second. The second baseman. Wendell On the ground, right side. He handles it himself. Oh. One out in the top of the first. So up next, Austin Brock. Batting third. The first baseman, Austin Brock. And a base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. And that extends his hitting streak yet again. This is starting to get pretty interesting, Singy. Yeah, and the way he's going, it seems like there's no end in sight. This is a guy that no pitcher wants to face right now, especially with runners on base. I mean, he's doing all the little things right, and it just seems like he's in cruise control at the plate. Here goes the runner. 
That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Tag. Out at second. Kind of a gamble right there. They're trying to stay out of the inning. Here's some real power at the plate. Austin Brock. Single to right in his first trip. Can't get there. Base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw is wild and it gets away. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Here's Elliot Ramos. 0 for 1 so far. The tag, and he's out at second. And now the first baseman, Austin Brock. The first baseman, number 23, Austin Brock. Line drive, base hit. Ortiz fires it to the plate. He beats it safe. It's 4-3. Oh, well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Elliot Ramos. Here's a one-two. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Here's the third baseman, Jake Vossler. He's 0 for 1. Three, two. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Now, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click. And a base hit. Steven fires it to the plate. Not in time. He scores. And they lead by two. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff, the base hit. So two on with two away. Sam Huff will hit next. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Back here at the ballpark, here's a big power threat. Austin Brock. And leading off he's not going to get scores. cheated up there. No, the he's not. Baseman. He's looking to do damage Austin. with every swing he takes. The pitch. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. He'll touch them all, and they add a run. It's 6-3. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they... Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. 6-3, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Double-A baseball on the show, coming your way. It's the Redding Fighting Phils and the Richmond Flying Squirrels. First pitch coming your way next. One out, runner at second. Austin Brock now at the plate. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. He made him pay for that one. His latest homer in an incredible season. And they add a pair. It's 2-0.
He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over. At the play, Wendell Riho. And he's already singled in this game. Wendell Riho. Swing and a ball popped up. Glowenke under it. And he makes the catch. And that is the third. Now, Austin Brock. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And a base hit into right center field. Johnson doesn't stop, heads for home. He scores to tie it up. It's four to four. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jalen Davis. Hey, what time? Right now. Tied up here in the early going. That one out to right. Ortiz under this one. And out number one on the grab. Throw and it gets away. Now batting third baseman. And now here is Jake Vossler. Hit it well but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. And a 2 1 on the way. And that one is lifted in the air. Rojas ranging into the alley. Makes the grab. Two down. Here's the left fielder, Kai Tom. His first at bat was a strikeout. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss, and that is that. On to inning number one out, base is empty. And now, Josh Steven. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Line drive, speared at first. And he handles it himself for the out. It's important. If he can go one, two, three here, we'll be. And here's the first baseman, Austin Brock. Now batting, first baseman, Austin Brock. Well struck right field. And it hits the fence. Runner around third in to score. The relay slides his hand in there. Save. It's 7 4. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. 110 miles per hour. And man, that exit velocity, not every hitter's capable of getting that kind of jump off the bat, no matter how hard they swing. I've been so lost in my ways, yeah. Feeling like I ain't the same. That one to first. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly, but they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Base is empty, one away, and now the first baseman, Derek Hall. The first baseman, number 23, Derek Hall. The line to kick the pitch. And he tries to drag bunt towards first. And that's a bunt single. That was placed perfectly. Dropping a drag bunt there. I love it. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Now at the plate, Austin Brock. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. 
A towering shot to right. His second home run of the game. It's 8-4. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for us. All set for the start of the inning. And the batter will be the shortstop, Drew Maggi. The shortstop, Drew Maggi. Kicks and fires. To the right side. Got him on the off-balance throw. One up, one down. And this one ends with the score eight to five. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long. Austin Brock digs in now. Brock really thriving with the bat this season here at home. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. And here it comes. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Four, get it. Way back there and gone. He flexes his power with that swing. His latest homer in an incredible season. And they jump out front. It's 1-0. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off. Second inning set to go. And here's the first baseman, Derek Hall. The first baseman, number 23. In the air, right side of the infield. Schmidt under it. Mine, mine, mine. Makes the grab one away. Austin Brock, the next to hit. This guy has turned into a beast. First baseman, Austin Brock. That's a base hit as a run scores. Singy, he squared that one up in a big way. So let's take another look at it with StatCast. Nerd Head Assemble. Just incredible power in this swing as it came off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Really good weight transfer and just demonstrated some exceptional bat speed with that swing. Man, impressive. That gets down for a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Here's Elliot Ramos. 0 for 1 with a fly out. The 0 1. Lifted in the air, out to left. Squeezes it, and there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. So first and second with two outs. Ka'ai Tom getting ready to hit. Line drive, short hop to third. Throws to first, inning over. One gone runner at first. Derek Hall will hit next. The first baseman, Derek Hall. Tapped on the ground softly to short. Gumboa over to second, and he'll be safe at first. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball. First and third, two away. Austin Brock digs in down. Austin Base hit and a run comes in. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay.
First and second, two down. Jalen Davis, the next to hit. Ground ball right side. He steps on the bag. Third out. Two outs, nobody on. Stepping in, Jalen Ortiz. Now batting, right fielder, Jalen. Trying to bunt his way on. Brock. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping in the long ball threat, and Austin Brock. The flying squirrel. The first baseman. Carr Austin. back to work. Brock. Hit well. Right field way back and gone. A solo shot. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add on. It's 9-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of his ballpark. Austin Brock now at the plate. Now batting the first baseman, Austin Brock. The rope into right, and that's a base hit. Johnson coming home. He'll score, and it's a double-digit lead as they're up by 10. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. Pickoff throw. Here's the tag, and he's out. So digging in, number 35. Now batting. Number 35. One down, yeah, one down. Hey, Let's go. The one two. On the ground, a short could be two. And no throw. He's into first easily. The catcher, number 13. 10 zip your final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping.